What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another construction update down at the Etihad campus to see what is happening. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, please do subscribe. It is free to subscribe. Social media links there in the description if you want to go and check them out. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up and do leave your thoughts in the comments below. So since my last update, we've had big announcements come in the form of a new women's sports complex that's been announced. It's a 10 million pound state-of-the-art training facility for the women's team at the Etihad campus. It is awaiting approval on permission to build. Plans have been announced already. It's looking very smart, I have to say, and it's showing further investment into the future of the football club and for the women's side of Manchester City as well. It's things you absolutely do love to see. Uh, it says the plans show that it is going to go near the academy stadium which is where the women's team play the large majority of their football games as well so we'll get the drone up when we go to the etihad stadium and see if there is anything happening there where it possibly may go uh, i'm not expecting it to be too much as it is still in the planning phase but it's worthwhile having a look as well we will also go and have a look at the etihad stadium see what's happening with the north stand and on the outside of the stadium and seeing what's happening of course uh, with the new museum the new hotel the new bars and eating establishments etc etc and see if there's anything that's changed since the last time that we were there uh, also go go and have a look of course at the co-op arena that is going to be the next thing that's going to be complete at the Etihad campus still expected to be completed in April I have heard some rumours about being some problems with the roof and the amount of rain that we've had over the last few months in the UK so we're going to get the drone up and have a really good look at the roof and seeing what is happening uh, there and see if there's anything uh, in general uh, that has changed at the Etihad stadium so I'll see you at the Etihad That is the academy all looked at. Let's go and have a look at the stadium now. Progress on the north stand all done and dusted. Let's go and have a look at what's happening on the outside of the Etihad Stadium, including having a look at where the shops, museum, bars, hotel, etc, etc is going to be.
Hawks. I was just having a very quick look at the Metrolink. I don't think there's too much happening, but the Metrolink have announced something very interesting. They have announced that they're putting on additional trams Monday to Friday at night during peak times. Extra trams are going to be put on on a Saturday and on a Sunday all day as well to help deal with the volume of traffic going to the Etihad campus once the arena has been complete. That's been announced by the Metrolink in Manchester just in the past seven days or so. And that's the arena all done and dusted. Now, the arena is scheduled still to open in April. The first act is going to be Olivia Rodrigo at this moment in time on May 3rd. We're still waiting on an official announcement and an official date to be made for the opening artist for the arena. There's some rumours going around about Harry Styles. He may open the arena. He is an active investor in the arena as well so do keep your eyes peeled when i do get more on that of course i will keep you guys up to date with more construction updates so if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel that would be much appreciated it is free to subscribe social media links in the description if you want to go and follow me on my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up and do let me know your thoughts in at the comments below so i wanted to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all very soon for the next manchester city etihad stadium and etihad campus construction update peace Ciao for now.